Hello. I'd like to start by thanking the conference organizers for allowing me to take part by video this evening. I apologize that I'm not able to join you in person. I'd also like to thank the awards committee and my nominators for recognizing me with this honor. It is truly a privilege to receive an award in the names of Mr. McNaught and Monsieur Taillon. These are two individuals that contributed so much to the development of health policy, particularly Canada's Health Act, as well as health information through things such as the creation of the Canadian Institute for Health Information. Joining the past recipients of this award is an incredible privilege. This list includes individuals that I have seen as role models and mentors throughout my career. I truly appreciate that the award provides a bursary for a deserving recipient. And I'm privileged to have chosen Ashley Sid, a PhD student in the School of Pharmacy at the University of Waterloo as the bursary recipient for this year. Ashley is working in important health policy issues and using technology tools to help educate pharmacists to keep up with the latest evidence-based practice requirements. Inasmuch as this award recognizes the work that I did in chairing the expert advisory group that produced a series of reports towards a pan-Canadian health data strategy, I share the honor with the other members of the group, as well as the staff that reported our work. Particularly, Eric Sutherland, who is now working with the OECD in health data governance. We did our work through the pandemic, and despite never having the opportunity to meet in person, our group of very diverse individuals from right across the country, across many disciplines, from health services research, policy, law, epidemiology, public health, and including indigenous perspectives and patient representation, worked together incredibly well and developed a very close camaraderie. We remain committed to continuing to work on the implementation of our recommendations as they move their way through our different government structures. What I will note is our key findings were our challenges with moving forward in improving our health data and information systems are not technical. There are challenges of governance and accountability. How do we make the decisions that we need and how do we hold those who make those decisions to account for living with the decisions and moving forward in a way that benefits everyone? How do we build the trust between different organizations and individuals and particularly trust in the public and providers. In order to have trust, we need data literacy. People need to understand what we're talking about when we talk about different types of data. We need to think about our policy frameworks and in particular our policies towards health information privacy. And we need to think about our culture, a culture that does not reward stewardship of data, ensuring that is used in the most appropriate ways to improve the lives of individuals, their families, their communities, for public and population health, for health system improvement, and for research and innovation, while protecting and preserving privacy and confidentiality. If we can address these challenges, I know the technical solutions will be there. It's also important to reflect that the principles that we hold for our health system and the structures that we have were developed many decades ago. Mr. McNaught and Monsieur Taillon would not have imagined that our health systems would stay static over the decades. 
as technologies have evolved, as public expectations have evolved, so has the way in which we need to work in our health system. What you're discussing at this conference is critical to that evolution. E-health tools will be the future. They will ensure that the public is able to get what it expects and what it deserves. Once again, thank you very much for this honor, and I look forward to learning about the successes from this conference. Thank you.